Hey everyone, so today I have my sister with me. Hi. And I am so excited to have her here. We're going to be doing the sister tag for you guys. And I'm so excited because she has finally joined the beauty community. She has her own blog as well as Instagram, which is why I wanted to bring her on here to introduce her to you guys. So we will talk about that at the end of the video so you guys can follow her on both. But for now, we're going to be doing the sister tag. I hope you guys enjoy this video. So there is 23 questions. I believe that I'm going to ask her some of them and then we can answer some of them together. So I'm going to get started with question number one. And the question is, how old are you both? Well, I'm 21. And I am 18 and we are three and a half years apart. Yep. Question number two, describe each other in one word. I'd say Amanda's unique. Uh, she's always been very different, very bold, uh, very bold personality. So I think unique is the best word. I would describe her as a very loving person and she just puts a lot of love into everything that she does. So that's my word for her. Number three, do people ever get you mixed up? No. No. We don't look alike. We have very different, different features. features. So yeah. Number four, what is something that annoys you about one another? Um, I can't think of any one thing. It's not something specific. It's just, I guess, something that might happen like right then and there. Other than that, nothing specific. <laughs> For me, it's that she thinks she knows it all. And I do. No, you don't. Number five, what is it like being sisters <coughs> with a YouTube guru? There really isn't anything different about it. I mean, at the most, I benefit from it because I get to learn new tips and tricks mm -hmm. and, you know, I can get, I guess, a second opinion on, you know, what to do with my makeup or yeah. get inspired for a look or... Well, I think it's the same because now she's a beauty blogger. So it's, yeah. te it's technically the same thing. It's very mutual. Except I make videos and she just has a blog. So it's, we're pretty much like the same thing. Yeah. Technically. It's like, it's normal. So mm -hmm. question number six is, do you ever argue? We Naturally, do, but um, it's not to an extreme or anything like that where it gets yeah. like physical or so. We actually get over it pretty quickly. Yeah. We'll just kind of complain about it for a few minutes and then yeah. just move on. We end up laughing. It's very little. Very yeah. little things. It's more bickering than anything yeah. else. Um, number seven, what is the best thing about one another? For me, it's that I can go to her for anything and she doesn't really judge me or she just gives me her best opinion. So I like that I can be as open as I can with her. For me, I guess it's just having a best friend, you know, just somebody that you can yeah, really count on no matter what. Mm -hmm. So that, I think that's the best part of having a sister. Number eight is ditch the dirt. And I believe this question is like if you rat on each other. And I think we're pretty good at keeping each other secrets. Unless it's going to, yeah. you know, if, unless it's dangerous and we feel yeah. like it's going to be something that someone needs to know. At least for me, if I know that she's going to be in danger, I will tell my mom. <laughs> So, Likewise. You know. But <laughs> other than that, like little things, I'll keep it to myself, of course. Same here. Number nine, favorite inside joke. I don't think we have one specific one that we could just pick. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We just have so many stupid if moments moment every day. If the moment we think about it, then we'll laugh about it. Yeah. But, um, number ten is favorite memory together. I think we've created most of our favorite memories during family trips. Yeah. To theme parks or, mm -hmm. you know, whenever yeah. we get a chance to get away or... Even just days where it's just me and her, like mm -hmm. we go shopping or whatever it is, we create a lot of good memories. I can't really pick one specific. Yeah, I think for me too. Most of them is probably like in a theme park. Um, yeah, that would be mine. I don't know. Yeah. Or maybe <laughs> like in New York when we when we grew up together, we would do a lot of family things. A lot since, of outings, yeah. Since we were so close in age, I think it was just more special. Because, you know, we're only three years apart, so everything we did was like together. Yeah. And we always stuck together, so those are my favorite memories. Number 11, full sisters, half sisters, or stepsisters. We are full sisters. Yes. 100% full sisters. Number 12, guess each other's favorite singer. Amanda's is definitely Drake. Yeah, for sure. Even though he's like a rapper slash singer, he's definitely my favorite. And then for her, I have a feel she doesn't have like a favorite singer, so I would say for the moment, hers is probably Justin Bieber. Yeah, I have a crush on so, the Biebs. Yeah, <laughs> Number 13, who takes longer to get ready? She does. So There's a reasonable explanation for everything. <laughs> yeah. I mean, sometimes you just need the extra time, but it's not so bad. I've gotten I better I think I can get time. ready in like 30 minutes to an hour depending, 
but she can take easily from like an hour to two hours, even three. I feel like you can take like you take forever. It depends on the event. Um, number fourteen heels or flats. For me, it's definitely flats. I mean, I pretty much spend most of my time at school, so I need to be comfortable. But whenever I get the opportunity, I definitely go for my heels. I love my heels, so. Um, for me, I love my heels, but it would definitely be flats or just sneakers. That's usually what I'm always in, or my Tims. I'm actually always in my Tims, so yeah. definitely flats. Number 15, pants or dresses. For me, it's probably pants. I mean, I love dresses. I love getting dressed up. It's probably something that I enjoy doing most, especially during the holidays, but mm -hmm. pants only because, like I said before with this, the shoes situation, I'm always in school, so it's essential for me to be comfy. Mm -hmm. For me, it's the same. I'm, I live in pants, so yeah, pants it is. Leggings, jeans, whatever. Yeah. For 16, favorite animal? I am a huge dog lover. I can't think of another animal that I enjoy as much as dogs. Me I mean, too. if I could, which everybody laughs at me for this, but if I could, I would just lay in a field and have a bunch of puppies just running around me mm -hmm. the entire time. I just, I love them. They're yeah. awesome. For me, it's definitely dogs, but I, there's so many cute animals, so. Yeah, but think about it. Dogs are so cuddly. They're so fluffy. They know when something's wrong. They love you. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, dogs, <laughs> definitely for me too. Okay, so number 17, if your house was burning down and your entire family was sure to be okay, what would you save and why? This is gonna sound horrible, but my books, I'm a huge bookworm. Mm -hmm. I'm always reading. I cannot yep, that's so true. ever spend at least a week away from a book. Like I have to always have something different to read, so. It's not makeup. That sounds so crazy, but it's definitely not makeup. I would probably save my shoes because I love my shoes or my clothes. Ugh, that sounds even, I don't know. I think I would just save whatever is important to me at the moment. I feel like when you're in a situation like that, you think of what's important. So yeah. I would just go with whatever my heart tells me to go with, which could be makeup, could be shoes. I don't know, maybe my pillow. My special pillow. <laughs> yeah, I would save that for sure. There's no way I'm leaving the house without it. <laughs> um, 18, comedy, horror, or chick flick? Comedy. Comedy. We I really love, love comedy. comedies. I think, mm -hmm. I don't know, just there's nothing better than really just watching a movie and getting a good laugh, especially yeah. after a long, stressful day, especially now during midterms and finals mm -hmm. or whatever, you know, anyone's going through right now. You just, you just need a laugh. I think our favorite movie right now is This Is The End. Oh my it's god, like our the best. favorite movie, so we've the been best. watching it like non-stop. Yeah, I think I've watched it probably like 12 times. It's so funny. In the last week. Yeah, it's pretty bad. But we like comedy like that. We don't, we're not into really corny comedy. We yeah. like like real comedy. Anything with James Franco, mm -hmm. Seth Rogen, yeah. Jonah Hill. That's like just, the best movies. They're like, the, like you have to. You yeah. have to watch their movies. Blackberry or iPhone? I'm team iPhone, but she's not. She's team Android. But yes. not a Blackberry. <laughs> she's just Android. But I'm trying to get her to switch over to iPhone. So maybe next time. Maybe one day. Team iPhone. Um, 20, favorite movie. That's a hard one. I can't think of my favorite movie. I think our favorite movie right now is This Is The End. Oh my it's god, like our the best. favorite movie. Doesn't it sound so sappy? <laughs> And romantic oh, I know. and corny, Is but it? I have to say the Romeo and Juliet oh, with gonna say the Leonardo notebook. DiCaprio. It, it's my favorite. I really, I don't mm -hmm. know what it is about it because it's such a different take on the whole, you know, Romeo and Juliet love story. But I just, I love it. I think I've watched it maybe two to three hundred times in my lifetime. <laughs> I don't know what's my favorite movie. That's a hard one. What do I watch a lot? You know what? I'm gonna have to say Devil Wears Prada. That's, I've watched that movie yeah. too much. I, I love yeah. it, so... But I don't know if that's my favorite movie, but that's my favorite movie that I can think of. So I'm gonna stick with that one, because I don't know. Um, 21, what is something weird that you eat? Mm. There's nothing weird that I eat consistently, but I did make something about maybe two months ago that was probably the weirdest thing I've tried so far. Which was popcorn oh, yeah. glazed with butter, melted marshmallows on top of the popcorn, mm -hmm. and then sprinkles of uh, cinnamon. 
That was different. I've never tried anything like that, but it was actually really good. That's like the perfect fall snack. And it was really, really cold when I tried it, so it was just comfy food for me. Do I have anything weird? <laughs> I don't think you eat anything I don't weird. know. Yeah, I'm very picky. Yeah. If I eat anything weird, it's... I don't I know. can't think of anything. I don't that was probably the weirdest thing. Yeah, because I'm very picky. If it sounds weird, I won't eat it. So. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like... Yeah, I'm very picky. Um... 22, do you guys have anything matching? A lot of stuff. We we buy a lot, a lot of things of together. Stuff. Like, mm -hmm. people have actually considered us to be twins. Not yeah. identical, but... Fraternal twins. Fraternal twins, specifically yeah. because we do like wearing the same things. Mm -hmm. We have... At the same time, we have mm -hmm. similar yet differing styles mm -hmm. in the sense that she could take a piece and dress it up totally different from the way I'd wear it. I'm yeah. very... I don't know how to put it into words, I guess. I like... You're more of like softer romantic. Like a, yeah. She's definitely edgy. Definitely I, I find edgy. them more... I like like 80s style. 80s, 90s style. It's like my yeah. thing right now, so... And for yeah. me, I, I just like more of a... I don't know, like a elegant or a, a glam, I guess you can call it, Very style cheap. to things. She's yeah, I love yeah. making anything kind of shiny, sparkly, kind of stand out, you know, add a pop of color. I, I don't know how to define it, but yeah, we do have a lot of matching pieces. Yeah, but we style them totally differently, yeah. which is what I like about it. That's why I think we should do a lookbook today. Yeah, that would actually be an interesting Stay lookbook. Tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> yeah. And lastly, we have question number 23. What is your favorite TV show? Right now, I'm obsessed with New Girl. I mm -hmm. love that show. I literally... No, but I know our favorite TV show. What? Vampire Diaries, I think is our favorite TV show. Or did you die down from it? I like it. Actually, I love New Girl. Yeah, you do. I really yeah. do. I mean, I love Vampire Diaries. I love I like a lot Dexter was my absolute favorite, but New Girl has just been my thing lately. I love Zoe Deschanel. I mean, she she's my idol. I love her. I really look up to her, her personality, her fashion yeah. sense. She's so quirky. I mm -hmm. love her. For me, it's probably just Vampire Diaries. It's what I've been watching lately, so... Yeah. That's our well, next We watch a lot of the same TV things six. together. Yeah. yeah. I just, that's the only show that I was able to make me cry because I don't cry for anything. Yeah. But Very it, it's really emotional. I love that show. So. And then whenever we're not watching those, we like Carrie Diaries. That's yeah. been a really entertaining show. Mm -hmm. I love being able to see where Carrie and, you know, everybody else started up from. Mm -hmm. So that's been really, really good. Mm -hmm. So. So those were our sister tag questions. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys enjoyed having my sister on my channel with me. I will definitely be doing more videos with her in the future, so stay tuned for that. We'll probably do like beauty videos or lookbooks for you guys. So um, definitely check out her blog. You can introduce it for yourself. Well, it's uh, the Glam Geek Confessional .blogspot.com. So I will have her blog written right here as well as a link to her website as well as her Instagram. You guys can follow her on there. It is... It's uh, the Glam Geek Confessional. Yes. So I will have both links to both websites in the description box below. So please go check that out and please go follow her. She's a new beauty blogger and she's starting out and her reviews are so amazing and so descriptive. So if you're always looking for a new product to check out, just read her reviews. They're amazing. She's always recommending different things to me. So if you want someone's different opinion other than myself, definitely check out her blog. Uh, like I said, the link is provided down below for you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye. I don't care, it's fine. Look, I fixed it. Okay. <laughs> this is not my video, it's our video. <laughs> Questions that we're going to ask each other. No. <laughs> you giving me side eye, why? No, I'm not giving you side eye. Number four, what is something that annoys you? <laughs> annoys? You know, the sister tag is supposed to be you talking and I'm talking for everything. Yeah. I'm actually always in my Tim's, so yeah. definitely flats. <laughs> You're like, yeah, those fucking Tim's. <laughs> always wearing them everywhere. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's true though, I know that's what you guys think out her blog I will have the link over mm. here <laughs> I will have <laughs> stop what you're making fun of me I'm not I always recommend I'm sorry Ashley <laughs> it's okay